What would you do if you were with a guy Ugh, you're in love? I don't love anything. You went down on him, and it oh. was that moment where you love him so much, you're like, I'm gonna swallow this. If so, if like it's a crusty d or something, of course I'm gonna. <laughs> Go wash, go to the doctor, the clinic is free. Hands up you guys. Okay, really quick before I get into this video, I wanna remind you guys that I'm going on a book tour soon and I really, really fucking hope you guys come because I'm really nervous and nobody's gonna show up. So here are the dates and locations of the places I'm going to be. July 19th in Houston, July 21st in Orlando, July 22nd in Minneapolis, July 24th in Chicago, July 25th in Cincinnati, July 27th in New York, and July 29th in San Francisco. Click the link in the description below and make sure to press RSVP so I know you're coming. And I can't wait to meet you guys and I can't wait to see you guys with the book. Okay, let's get into the video. So I have never had more requests to do a video in my life than for this one product. First of all, this is not hashtag spons. I'm assuming it's gonna be hashtag Burger King tries to delete my channel because I'm gonna hashtag hate it. <laughs> Ew, God, hashtag hate it. That sounds like a really awful Urban Outfitters shirt that I would buy. All of my crappy crap is from Urban Outfitters. Anytime you see a mug with a dumbass phrase on it or a shirt with a stupid fucking cartoon on it, it's from Urban Outfitter. Except this. This is from the Madman Store. But anyways, you guys wanted me to try Burger King's Macaroni and Cheetos. If you haven't heard of it, here's the picture. What? <laughs> that was my reaction when I first saw the picture, except there was more throw up involved. I don't understand. Why do they keep making shit like this? Oh yeah, because I buy it. I remember back when 7-Eleven created the Doritos and Nacho Cheese deep fried situation, and that was gross. Look at that picture. You should be ashamed of yourself. But anyways, here we go. I have the bag with me. I was so ashamed to buy this. I went to Burger King and I was like, hi, can I get one of those um, macaroni things? And the lady was like, oh, you mean the macaroni and Cheetos? Mm-hmm, can you not say it so loud? Great, how many macaroni and Cheetos sticks do you want? Just whatever the smallest one is. Are you sure we have a five pack, a 10 pack, a 12 pack, a 20 pack of macaroni and Cheetos? God, can you please shut the fuck up? I really don't want people to know I'm buying this. Oh, I understand, no worries. Can I get one large order of the macaroni and Cheetos limited edition for fatties only? Do you want dipping sauce? Yeah, it was embarrassing. All right, here we go. Let's do an unboxing, <laughs> which will soon be a trashing. That could be a new series of videos, you know, like there's unboxing, there's me throwing things into a trash. Did you know there is a channel where a guy throws things in the toilet to see if they flush? I've watched all the videos. They all flush. Come on. Oh, yay. Oh my God, do you think if I send that guy a copy of my book, he'll try to flush it? That promo though. Okay, here we go. I'm opening up the box. Which, by the way, this is just a box for chicken fries. If you're gonna have some special limited edition treat, shouldn't you make some packaging for it? Like, don't just put your new shit in an old ass box. And I'm sorry, why is this chicken wearing a crown? She is not queen, only Kelly Clarkson is. By the way, I got into a fight the other day with somebody because they were like, Kelly Clarkson's fat. And I was like, um, she's pregnant. And they are like, no, she's not. I always have your back, Kelly. Okay, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> that does not look real. That is insane. The color orange of that is, is not human. That was created in a laboratory. It looks like a joke. Like take this, like let's take this out. Oh my God. That, the smell. <laughs> Oh my God. It doesn't smell like Cheetos. It smells like, you know, when you're on a plane and somebody's eating a bag of Cheetos and then like 35 minutes into the travel when you guys are all wearing your headphones and nobody thinks you can hear their farts. And then people just start to blow ass. Like that plane is running on ass. They don't even need no gas or an engine in that plane. Literally everybody is farting so much. It is keeping that plane afloat. That's the smell. Ugh. It looks like Simpson food. If I was a Simpson character, which I would be Ned. Okay, I'd be the fat comic book guy, leave me alone. But this is what I would eat. All right, let's open one up before we even taste it. Okay, here we go. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Is that macaroni and cheese? What is that? What kind of macaroni and cheese is that? By the way, Burger King doesn't even have macaroni and cheese. Where did they get this? I just imagine Colonel Sanders like going out to his trash and he's like, I thought I threw away some macaroni and cheese in this dumpster earlier. Where did it go? Then you got the Burger King running to his restaurant. Guess what y'all? I got the mac and cheese. Cause that's exactly what this looks like. Old mac and cheese. And what is this? They just crumbled up Cheetos and like put it on top of it. Also, did somebody like hand make these? Like what machine makes this? If there's a machine that makes this, then why the fuck aren't we flying yet? All right, let's try it. One. Two, three. I like it. <laughs> mm. Why do I like it? I don't like it. I want more. 
I can't explain why I like it. I think because it reminds me of so many things. Like, it reminds me of childhood. It reminds me of Britney Spears walking barefoot into a bathroom with a bag full of puffy Cheetos in her hand. It just reminds me of all the good times. Like, I feel like Britney Spears would fuck this up. Like, I feel like this is gonna ruin her career. She's doing real good in Vegas right now. Everybody's like, Britney's back, bitch. And then that commercial comes on. Macaroni and Cheetos, limited tab only. Oh, what are those? Oh, hi, Britney. <laughs> These are macaroni and Cheetos. Little tiny balls of mac and cheese rolled around in Cheeto dust. That sounds like something I get all over my fingers and lick them off one by one in the back seat of my car. It is, Brittany, and guess what? You're a billionaire. You can buy as many boxes as you want. God, if I was that rich, I would be huge. <laughs> Okay, what do you dip these in though? Like, do they come with sauce? They should come with cheese sauce. I mean, the box says double dipping strongly encouraged. You can't even single dip this Burger King. I know what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to hate on Burger King because I'm embarrassed that I liked it. Just like when you're in a relationship and you're kind of happy with the person, but you're also nervous that they don't really like you, so you try to sabotage it by saying things like, what, you think I look fat today? What, you don't love me? What, you don't want to fuck me? I'm doing the same thing, but with food. I should have got the 20 piece. <laughs> Well, there you guys have it. That was me and my official review of these fucking crazy ass end of the world monster foods. I need these to go away because I do not want to end up like Britney Spears in 2008. I'm already like halfway there. I mean, if Taco Bell comes out with some kind of like red velvet cake taco, just call TLC. Send over a camera crew. I'll be on my couch, sink it into the floor. Bring a shovel. You're gonna need to get my skin removed from that couch. Game over. Well, there you guys go. You wanted me to try it, so I fucking did. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I make new videos every single day. And please, please come to my book tour. Please, please. I will put all the links down there. Check it out, please, please, please. And if you haven't pre-ordered the book yet, that would be awesome. I'm really, really proud of it. And uh, okay, I'll stop talking about it. All right, you guys, I will see you little macaroni and Cheetos tomorrow. Um, hello, that's the fucking creepiest thing I've ever seen. He did not move for like 20 seconds. That's video! That's not a frozen screenshot. That's literally real life. He's not moving. So people are thinking maybe he's cloned because he's a news personality and maybe the Illuminati wants to have him say certain things on the news.